It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cards and the Fins coming up next. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. First carry for James Conner. Breaks a tackle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field to ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and 10 is Connor. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second down and six. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And Jordan Brooks on the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a second and 10. Murray again, this is Connor. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 42 yards rushing for him already. A terrific opening drive on the ground, and it's a first down. 
How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. That's straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Murray now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. It's so opening drive, third down. They go with a slant. It works. And I'm wondering when the league's going to figure it out because everyone throws it on third down. You expect pressure, so you want the ball in the hands of the quarterback quickly. It's a three-step route ordinarily, and you're throwing it where you see the receiver breaking towards you. So it's an inside route. Everyone likes it, and it's executed very well. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Emmanuel Agba that time, able to drop him for a loss. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. From the gun, Murray. Touchdown, Cardinals! Marvin Harrison, Jr. from eight yards out. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like... Tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, Tua Tungabailoa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Off a of play action, tongue of Iloa. Open man is Waddle complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down and six now. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. 
And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back to back, they've been tackled behind the line. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Two are going to throw. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's going to get this deep on the Arizona's side of the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Mostert. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. The tight end in motion right. Here's Tongue of Ilowa to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more... And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Devon Achan punching it in from a yard away. And the Dolphins are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So the drive there took six plays. And it was Devon Achan who finished things off with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. To throw, it's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a second and eight. Again, a run with Connor. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. So Miami coming out for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine now from the 21. Waddle the motion man right. Second down, here's Mostert again. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. We'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. They fake the handoff, now Tua. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And back deep is DJ Dallas. That's taken at around the 40. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it second and seven. Here's Murray. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. 
You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run behind center with Connor down to about the 37. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Murray going to throw. He's got room at the 30. He's got room to roam. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Marvin Harrison, Jr., with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Now Ryland for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A drive there of just four plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Dolphins offense returning to the field. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Tua sets up to pass it. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third down and three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. 
Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Here's second and ten. There's Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Harrison. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Well, that flag puts him on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Again, it's Connor. And he stopped immediately there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Bad news, they didn't get it on second down. The good news is they still only need about three or four inches here on third. And the good play callers have looked at both situations. They thought to themselves, okay, this call, I pick up the first down, already ready with that call. If I don't, this is what I'm going to come back with in order to pick it up. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Calais Campbell in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Murray now. Pass complete there to Harrison. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that brings up third and a full ten yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. This third down just got even more difficult. Third down at 15 after the false start. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. Thanks to his effort, they now have a big choice to make here. He just ran them into field goal range with that one, so here come the choices. Do they kick it here, or do they trust him to make another big play and possibly get a first down? It's a 47-yard field goal try from here, but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Connor. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball's moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. 
A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. To throw is Murray. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Here is third down and four. Now Murray. Flush to his right. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on a flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Play action, now it's Tua. That's caught Waddle on the left side. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. So from the 37, here's second and three. Beckham in motion right. Looking to pass, Tua. Short throw to Smith. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. And it's a bit of a bounce back season a year ago for John U. Smith when he set career highs in both catches and yards in his lone season in Atlanta. The Dolphins signed him this offseason in hopes that they see that continue. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football.
Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. That's going to be caught by Waddle. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Tua setting up shop to throw again. The short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. A gain of eight there on the play, and it brings up third and five now. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Third and five. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by Kaiser White. And the Cardinals will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After the turnover, here's Murray. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Murray now to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Looking to throw. Murray. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. for the fair catch makes the fair catch just inside the 15 yard line so possession goes over here on the punt and the Dolphins drive will start deep in their own territory with the first and ten A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 
So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And his throw here is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Odell Beckham, 77 yards. And the Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Sanders now to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense and their veteran running back James Conner ready for this next possession. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure... Because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A give running right is counter. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here is third and five. Out of the gun, here's Murray. 
He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Murray. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Flying in to pick up that sack, Jordan Brooks. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. From the gun, Murray. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. It'll be a gain of five. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Murray with a nice move. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Able to pick up a dozen yards there on the scramble, but not enough. Fourth down. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he'll get about three up past the 25. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. In motion, Hill. On play action. Here's Tua. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play-action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over.
Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Play action. Now it's Murray. There's a short one caught by Ryman. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. It'll go as a gain of four. And third and eight now. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end. But unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Shotgun now for Murray. And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Off of play action, Tug of Iloa. Short throw to Smith, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. Hill going to go in motion right. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Here's Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt, first and five. Murray now running right on the option. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. This is Connor running right. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. Here's Connor on the read option. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Connor up the middle. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 101 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Jones has it. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Murray going to throw. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Cards are able to widen their advantage. Ah, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Ryland on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. A 
Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Two are going to throw. They're going deep for Hill. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. It's a big play there for Miami. 47 yards. And this is how you answer a touchdown on the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Here's Mostert. Toss left side. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Zabin Collins there to make the play defensively. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Sanders' kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does, because now they stay within shouting distance, so that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that. And that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. 
Throwing now is Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On third down, it's Connor. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. And obviously they want that run yardage, so they decline the penalty. They had no doubt about it. Smart on their part. They finished off the play. But if you're going to jump, if you're going to commit a penalty, it's your job to finish off the play so you don't give up big gains like that. To throw is Murray. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. He's got McBride here over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. But the crowd's not doing that old line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Here's Murray. This complete to Jones. Seven yards there at a first down. Throwing again, Murray. Pass complete there to Harrison. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On first and ten is Connor. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Now Murray. Got his man, it's Dorch. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he couldn't square up to throw there, and it falls incomplete.
They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw, it's Murray. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Dolphins offense and Tua Tungavailoa headed back out onto the field. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. We have to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to pass to him. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 35. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. The offense on third down, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. Here it's third and three. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down. And he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call him for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He made his first attempt, this from 45. The kick by Sanders is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away.
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Cardinals offense and Kyler Murray headed back out onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Good push from the offensive line, and they've done well so far to build this lead. Now they've got to get things to the finish line, and that's a solid pickup there to begin the drive. Connor going to get it again on second down. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up the key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play. Picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. Murray now to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, Murray. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula, pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Tua. Short throw to Smith. 
fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Here's a second and seven. Here's Tua. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now Tua. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Here we go. This is fourth down. Throwing Tua. That's Tua's running back complete. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They start the drive with Connor. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the 37, they work on second and six. On the counter, it's Connor. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Down to a knee. Here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Here's first and ten. Tua. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because 
from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back 